Tonight, I am bringing the terrifying surprise to Pythian Castle, which is known for paranormal encounters of every kind imaginable. Spirits trapped here from all throughout the world due to its past for torturing prisoners of war, orphans that were mistreated, still seeking compassion and love, staff that endured horrendous conditions, and the intelligent hauntings of the tunnel systems, among many of the other known spirit residents. This location is truly remarkable, and hopefully the item I have brought tonight will bring a bit more life to the dead. Hey everyone, before the video starts, we have a cool announcement. This is something that has been highly requested of us for the last few months, and well, we finally have another one. Our mystery boxes have returned, and they are available right now, right here at SenateSociety.com. You can grab one. This is a really cool overnight paranormal Senate Society hybrid themed box. Of course, brand new designs, brand new items. Things we've never made before, things we'll never make again. We only make a small amount of these, and when they're gone, they're gone. I'm really proud of these designs. It's kind of why I waited a little while. I want to make sure I had some really, really good ones. We pack and ship all of your orders ourselves from my garage. Everything that we make from these mystery boxes just goes right back into the channel, back into the videos, new paranormal tools, new everything that we need to keep improving and improving and improving to make sure that we can keep making the best content we can for you all. And of course, you can join us on our overnight paranormal tour, which is going all the way across the United States with 25 different haunted locations, including Pythian Castle on August 13th. You can join us for paranormal investigations, meet and greets, and our live show, where we will have special guests and bringing you on stage to share your paranormal experiences and encounters. Our goal is to build this community, and of course, Every single person that comes out to the tour, no matter what, we will be saying hello, taking pictures, and getting to know all of you. So head over to OvernightParanormal.com and grab your tickets. Some nights are actually already sold out and getting very, very close. Corey and I are so excited to be meeting you this August and September on tour. This series gets emotional, it will be the best way I'll put it. It's more than just fear. This trip got, like real on a whole nother level beyond like the paranormal side of things. I don't want to spoil anything, but I really hope you watch these videos from part one all the way through because it's it was a really cool journey that I think we all went on and learned a lot from and I'm glad to finally be sharing it with you all. So thank you for watching this channel and it means the world to us and yeah, enjoy the video. What's up everyone and welcome to or welcome back to the Overnight Channel where we are dedicated to all things paranormal, haunted, mysterious, unknown. You can't explain it, but we want to talk to the ghosts in the dark, especially Matt. He loves them. That's why he's here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here. if you're watching the Overnight Channel, you have a brand new face in front of you. Aaron, everyone. But if you've been watching TFIL for a while, then you definitely know Aaron because Corey, Aaron, and I started ghost videos together in 2016. Yo, oh, damn. Wow. Suicide Bridge. <laughs> yeah. wow. You were in the Suicide Bridge video our sec the second time we ever visited there. Oh my. So, six wow. years ago. And it's only right that Aaron is finally back, but now on the Overnight Channel. Oh, I'm glad to be back. Are you excited? Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of. We are officially on a very large leg of our USA road trip. We already did six locations in California. We kind of skipped a few states, and this is Pythian Castle in Springfield, Missouri. And for the next 14 straight nights, we will be going haunted location after haunted location after haunted location. So there's 30 locations for this year with another, what is that, 24 to go. Oh my God. Wow. 24 to go. Wow. And we now have potentially every possible paranormal tool. <laughs> That's out there. Uh -huh. We have probably 30 ghost hunting devices right here. At least, in addition to the tools, it had something shipped here. 
What do you mean? Um, I had something very special. Shipping. See, that's what I don't like. So I don't like when you ship stuff. No. So, you remember Whaley House? Yeah. yeah. And the Annabelle replica, yeah. you know, that was cursed by the witches. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. From yeah. the room B340. Yeah, it compressed yeah. everything into that Annabelle doll and sealed it. Yeah. yeah. Right? You remember all that? Hard yeah. to forget. That's nothing compared to what I have tonight. We oh. Oh, I have I have the item of all items. What does that mean? We're gonna see it tonight. Are we gonna see it? We're gonna do, we're gonna open it. Do we want why? to open it? No. D why? Do, why <laughs> did you get it? At least I didn't lie to you. Yeah, <laughs> no, that was nice. Why would you Amazon Prime our doom? I'm pretty sure Amazon doesn't even operate in some of the countries that these items came from. What does that mean? I'm just saying. Ellen? What did you get? Look, here's the thing. We're on a road trip together. Yeah. Right now, the item's here. Now it's so much easier to take it with us location. No, 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 no. We're bringing it with, with us after location. tonight. It's not getting on. Do you know how much gas is right now? You think I want to pay someone to drive it for? No, it's coming with us in the motorhome. No, we're going to tie a string to it and drag it behind. No. This is going to be a good trip, guys. Very, very good trip. It's going to be a fun it? trip. We'll it's going to be a very, very fun <laughs> trip with very haunted locations. But why would you have to order something scary? I didn't order it, by the way. I, uh, I assembled it. It's like it's, an it's, it's like the thing? Avengers of Evil, <laughs> or like an IKEA oh. piece from Hell. Wonderful. Sure. Yeah. But most haunted places have like a weird yeah. knock you have to do to get in. You know it. You should. I think you know it. You set the box. Let me in, or I'm gonna. You're gonna piss me off. That's it. That was it. That's <laughs> for sure. It. That He's been it. around me for two days and already talking like me. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Real unoriginal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pythian Castle, located in Springfield, Missouri, was built to appear like a castle, despite being made in the early 20th century. It is considered one of the most haunted locations in the state and within the Midwest United States. There are over 100 documented deaths within this location that vary from tuberculosis to those that took their own life. From female and male voices, sudden cold spots, unexplained smells, extreme emotional mood swings felt by visitors, shadow figures, and full bodied apparitions, this castle has more than its fair share of paranormal encounters. It has served many purposes over its 100 plus year history. Once an orphanage, retirement home, rehabilitation center for soldiers, and even prison cells for prisoners of war. The grounds are truly beautiful, but the interior is full of memories of anguish and death. Built in the years 1911 to 1913 by a group called the Knights of Pythias, it was meant to be a retirement home for members in need, as well as a residence for orphans and widows of its members. The 53 acres of land was sold to them for $1 in 1909 by the city of Springfield, as they had numerous castles and lodges all throughout the USA and Canada. Seven cities were competing to have the next Pythian castle, and this was the winning bid. Knights of Pythias were a secret society, and known to be a white supremacist group, formed in Washington, D.C. in 1864. They claimed to believe in three principles, friendship, charity, and benevolence, to some. The castle itself was a three-story limestone building totaling about 27,000 square feet. This particular limestone is Carthage stone, known as a fireproof solution as well as excellent for the drawing in and trapping of spirits to a residence. The original floor plan featured a grand entrance, meeting room, ballroom, dining hall, and numerous parlors, dormitory style rooms for children, as well as a theater, and a basement that served a multitude of uses, some such as a bowling alley and gymnast floor, with other uses the captivity of prisoners. Although Tales of Pythian were a heartwarming shelter provided to orphans, there are many darker accounts of abuse and mistreatment. Boys and girls were not allowed to speak to each other, even if they were siblings. They would spend their day doing chores and then return to their harsh bunk beds. Many stories recall orphans being forced to deliver laundry through the tunnel system that would be full of hot steam, debris, and rodents. This tunnel alone holds an incredible amount of stories of terror, a place where footsteps are more commonly heard than not. Since then, spirits of children and staff have been seen wandering the property, with their voices often calling out for help. Some of these spirits are even known by name, such as Petey, who resides in the toy room on the second floor, shy at times, but incredibly playful when energized. Everything in this castle, whether it seems joyful, has had a dark past. The theater served as a church sanctuary, where funerals would be held. The darkest of uses was a basement, serving as prison cells and an isolated area for interrogation, abuse, and even death. Paintings on the walls from prisoners are still left 
as remembrance, as it is believed that many of these spirits are still trapped here today, permanently within the walls, just as the paint. After the castle was forced to be sold to the military for World War II efforts, it later served as a tuberculosis hospital with 500 beds. Formally closing in 1952, the building has exchanged hands of various different owners and purposes, but the one factor that has stayed consistent are the residents that never leave, no matter who has the keys. With over 100 documented deaths here, the current owner, Tamara, has copies of 80 actual death certificates with registered causes of death. Paranormal investigators from all around the world come to visit Pythian Castle for an evening in hopes to encounter the many different spirits that still call this place home. Our goal tonight is to cover the ground for the best of our abilities and interact with as many of these spirits as we can. And hopefully, what we brought ourselves will bring a bit more life to the dead. Hello. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Nice to meet you, Elton. Hello. Nice to meet you, I'm Mary Beth. I'm your guide tonight. Awesome. Aaron. Aaron, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Matt. Very yeah. nice to meet you. Corey. Corey. Nice to meet you. Okay. Well, let's start back here in the girls' dorm. <laughs> the whole door? Wow. In this room, it's a room where a lot of people see shadows up in that corner. Um, we have actually captured shadows on video, like when people are leaving out of this room, shadows following them out. <laughs> so, no yeah. Okay. When they built it, the Knights of Pythias, they were a group like um, the Masons, Shriners, gotcha. that type of... So this was built for their elderly as like a rest home, but it was also for their orphans. So any of the men of the order that passed away, their orphans could come and live here. We do have a few grumpy spirits. I will show you where those are, and those are areas that you might want to be respectful because um, they can act out. Have they hurt people? Um, they have before. Like scratches, um, pushes? Scratches, uh, punched. Punched? Punched. Yeah. I'll show you an area where a guy was punched. And also people have uh -huh. gotten scratched in the tunnel. That's another area that, you know, I say be respectful. There's an entity in there that is kind of grumpy and he doesn't like it when people mess with this stuff. There were some girls in there on one of my groups. They were being noisy and loud and, and um, actually someone was filming her and she didn't touch anything, nothing happened and she got a scratch on her arm because she was being loud and noisy and she had a bruise for three weeks from that. Wow. This is what we call the buffet room. When the army was here, there were Germans, Italians, and a few Japanese. The Germans that were here were 14 high-ranking German officials. They were actually kept in the building out back. The tunnel that we're going to be going in leads to that building out back. Now, the army still owns that building. We don't own it. So when we go down in there, it comes to a dead stop, and then you have to, and it's about 250 feet down. Wow. Um, you come to a dead stop, you have to turn around and you have to come back. It is a very active tunnel, and it seems like the later at night that it gets, the more active it becomes. It's kind of hard to see right now, but you can still kind of see that building back there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now we're good. So, from here we're going to go into the tunnel. Kind of the main entity in the tunnel is Mr. Boots. We call him Mr. Boots because people hear his boot steps walking down the tunnel towards them. The later it gets at night, the more he comes out. He doesn't want people tinkering with the pipes. He has been seen and is about 6'4". A lot of times, the first person in and the last person in, and then when you turn around and go back, you can feel him not physically push you, but you definitely feel like you're being ushered out, you know, especially the later it gets at night. Wait, so are, are we going to be in here by ourselves? Oh, yeah. Now that you pitched that idea, I think it's a really good one. <laughs> that was a really good idea you came up with. Thanks, dog. Oh, jeez. This is it. Yeah. Wow. This is the end of the tunnel. So it's just bricked off? It's just bricked off. Usually, like I said, kind of when you're at the first or the last, you kind of feel more than the people in the middle. A lot of women who stand on this end will have their hair played with. They may start having trouble breathing, not being choked, but just 
heavy feeling on yeah. your chest. And I feel that heavy feeling on my chest right now too, actually. If you listen really closely, sometimes you can hear his footsteps come down. You can ask him to tap on a pipe. If he taps on a pipe, it will typically be down at the other end. Okay. I'm a little creeped out being Are you? Yeah, I feel like, definitely. Um, I hope okay. you don't want to be friends with Mr. Boots. <laughs> so I'll tell you a story of like some of my private overnights. This hasn't been kind of like the regular ghost tours. Um, there was a girl in my group. She was in the middle. We were leaving at about 3 o'clock a.m. And she could see a dark figure with his hand up coming down towards us. I was the first one. She did not tell me. She hunkered down and just was hysterically crying upstairs when we got upstairs. Um, so I think that was Mr. Boots coming down to check on us. Um, also, just a few months ago, there was a paranormal group here. They had a night vision camera placed down here. So at 3 a.m., about five of us came down to retrieve it. As we were going back out, um, probably about 20 steps out, the guy on the end heard a voice say, wait, a male voice say, wait. We turned around and in the night vision viewfinder, we saw a black figure starting to get denser and denser and denser and then it started like moving towards us. And I mean, we seriously, we were like, yeah, we need to leave. Jeez. Well, I have chalk if you guys want to like make a high score for the longest time down here. <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah, just etch it. <laughs> okay. just, you know what I mean? 17 minutes. Or you could just do it, you know? You could, yeah, you could, we should all do it. You could be the one to be like, I stayed down here the longest. Yeah, but if you go, you go first then, how about that? I go first? Yeah. I'll tell you what though, mm -hmm. the later it gets at night, uh, yes, the cool. worse it gets. I will, so. go, I will go first at around, at around three in the morning, I will go first. First! At yeah, morning. three in the morning, I'll go first. Hey Jonah, mm. light? Mm. Mm. Go your light. Go your light. Don't look down there. Oh, this is so much fun! I love night vision oh cameras because you can't see God. anything on them. Dude. Oh, this is going to be... Oh, oh, wow. That's cool. It's so far. That's so... Bro, I can't see nothing. Oh, oh the lights! <laughs> oh my god, it's so great. Why do you have your phone behind Just you? Just so I can, you know, look behind That's me in case. Maybe you still have to like, look back. <laughs> in case something, you know. <laughs> neck motion. Oh, hi! Hi, hi. What was that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Go check it, it out. No, it was like a... Could there be bats down here? Wait, why did that just happen? Wait, did you just see that? Who turned the light off and then just turned it back on? Where's the light switch at? Hero. Right now. Do you want it off? You no. want the lights in the tunnel off? Who who turned the lights in the tunnel off whenever we just exited? Nobody. Nobody. But are they off now? No, they just turned back on after I talked about it. But they were off. Yeah, they are turned off. Yeah, as all you guys left and it was just me and Evan. All the lights in there are turned off. Where's even the switch to do that? It's the plug right there on the wall. So it, it would have had to have been unplugged? It would have had to have been unplugged. <laughs> Wait, Wait, didn't are you serious? Wait, yeah. All right, Mr. Boots. That's so great. So cool. See you later. We're going Almost to here. cells where the other POWs were kept. Oh, there's more down here. Oh, why did the lights turn off? Oh, what? Wait, wait, wait. Bro. When the army came in, they put in these cells. There's more oh. down here. Oh, oh, my God. And this is an area where you'll smell smoke, pipe smoke, cigar smoke, that type of thing. We did capture an apparition of a little boy Wait, down you, by why, a post. Why, why, why? I don't know if it's on camera, but I'm literally behind you going like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why does it smell like someone's smoking? And then you, you smell it? I smell it's gone now. I smelled it for like two, three seconds, and then you immediately go, you can also smell smoke, cigar smoke. I'm like, yo, that's, that's, that's insane timing. This is what we call the ghost cave. Oh, what? How is there more? This is one of the dungeons that we, we, we don't go in on the tours. Sometimes on the overnights, you go in it. Um, the room that Tony Pickman was punched in, mm -hmm this room at your own risk absolutely if she if she will allow you to um why, why the risk is it because of the ghost seriously <laughs> yes he's he's angry he's very angry oh, we have we have told him he can have this room to himself we do think that he's from 
the Knights of Pythia's era. I don't know if alive he had confusion, but in death he's very confused. We think that's why he gets so angry. He's just confused. Why is someone going into his space? You told me I could have this space, so he gets mad when people go in there. Okay, we're gonna go into one of the dungeons. I'm just gonna tell you, this is an active room. When the army was here, this is where they would bring the prisoners to interrogate them. Oh, man. So the Germans were brought through the tunnel into here. If you look along this wall, you can see where they were shackled to the wall. Oh, my God. So you saw when you came through that entryway, it has a wall about two feet thick. Limestone. You all probably know limestone holds activity. So that's why we think our castle is very active. Uh, we still have more to see. We still have a whole other floor to see. Oh, oh yeah. my god, there's more. But wait. But wait, there's, there's more. more. I have been grabbed on that stairway on the calf before. It was almost, it almost felt like a protection though. Like someone was grabbing my calf so I wouldn't go upstairs. Interesting. How can you tell the difference? Well, I don't know. know. Oh. <laughs> he didn't even know. <laughs> Wait, where were you? I look like you're just, you're, you internalize all of your fear now. You used to scream and I just, <laughs> you just lose. So cool. So when the Knights of Pythians were here, this was where they would have their church services, and this is where they would actually have the funerals of all of those who passed away. So this stage was here at that time. We had some of the greatest come through here. Bob Hope, Charlie Chaplin, Groucho Marx, Gloria Stewart. You may not know Gloria Stewart by name, but she's the lady that played the old version of Rose on Titanic. Oh, wow. So they all performed here. You forgot one. Which one? Not right. Give me World War II rap. World War II? <laughs> Am I battle rapping the Japanese? Yeah. I'm just a young lad who's been drafted till I'm dead. Mm. I was going to get married, mm -hmm. have a honeymoon, get some love. Yep, <laughs> wedding. I will tell you, this is a room where several apparitions have been seen. Where usually? Um. An apparition of a lady was right here. Um, there was a woman that walked across. I have seen a lot of shadows in this room. So this is the boys' dorm. It is also a very active room. You know how, how I said the tunnel gets more active later at night, I think? This one is more active earlier at night. I think possibly because the boys had to go to bed at a certain time. Um, we call this room Petey's room also. But there are four other boys in here, AJ, Ben, Carl, and William. I do not mess with that doll. I don't like dolls. This one right here? Yes, oh, that my one right God. there. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Come on. Now, what? <laughs> the girls come running down, because typically this is the end of the tour, and we kind of let them come down when they're ready. They said that doll's arm was moving up and down, and what? they came down practically screaming. So I stay over here. I don't do the dolls. <laughs> this is the queen suite. Wow. The mirror behind you. Oh. That mirror, I've always gotten bad vibes from. The even more weird thing is, we were we left this area at about 12 o'clock. We went upstairs to the tower room. When we got upstairs to the tower room, it was one o'clock. What? Yeah. An hour of time passed? Yes. We both had a blackout of an hour, and it wasn't like a time change night or anything. What? We both lost an hour. While you were looking into the mirror? Yes. Wow. wow. That's crazy. And it happened to both of us. What mirror was it that you were looking at? When? That, one. that one? Yes. Definitely gonna have to squid up tonight. You wanna know the tools first? Or do you want me to get the present? I wanna know the present first. Yeah, I'd like to know what's in this building with us. Okay, how about this? You guys know all the tools? Uh-huh. I'll go get the box. What did you order? It's not, it's not good. What did he order? Postmates? He knows we're not gonna like it. Yeah. <laughs> he literally if he's not telling us what it is, he knows it's gonna terrify us. Alright guys, well before we shit our pants with whatever else <laughs> is in here. 
We got cat balls. It only goes off if you touch it. These bad boys are actually new. We use these in the conjuring house. Really? And they set these up each by a letter, all in alphabetical order, and it would light up and spell out stuff. It was kind of like a different type of Ouija board. Ovulus. Obviously, <laughs> spits out words. You get it. Yeah, I hate obviously. Oh, okay. Obviously. Then we got the heat seeking. What? Dude, that Wait. Moves. What is that? Dog. Come on. Oh my God. It's heavy. Is there a doll in there? Dude, no. Is there like a forty-pound doll in there? Here, put, put, here. put your hand there. Look at it. I'm not, not touching, touching it. it. <laughs> 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 Dog. My hands are full. I can't. Yeah, mine. Mine is also full. Seriously, I'm, I'm not touching. Go grab some tools. Go grab some tools. Okay. Can you give us some space? <laughs> All right. Okay. So we have well, we have the thermal goggles, EMF, and box. spirit box. Yeah. More of the little REM pods and some motion sensor lights. This is probably one of the most intensive paranormal ghost hunting kits that anyone has right now. And you're like. Because there's no crucifix to protect me against what's in there. There's a crucifix right there. There's crosses on it. Why is it covered? Why? Why? Why is it covered in crosses? Oh, why does he have four eyes right now? No, you know what's happening right now? Remember when Elton didn't look like Elton? Yup. That's not Elton. This feels like being, this feels like Whaley House Elton, no, and I don't like it. This is this is my favorite Elton. Yeah, He's maybe. speaking in third person. He's speaking. How much more possessive? This Elton is like the Elton that used to be the Elton when we'd all film videos together. And it was like, let's have fun, let's have ghost hunting. Elton's like, Elton's like, ah, Elton doesn't believe. No. You know, and when Elton doesn't believe, he's like, he's willing to do anything. I want, you know what I mean? To see if there's a way to get through. Did you guys hear him say that? I want Vine Elton back. That's who I want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to jump into a fountain. Yeah. Where's that guy? Yes. And now it's back. Oh, hand. Smack me with a giant seven foot hand and let's call it a night. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, true. there's actually a room here that you can go down into and get smacked, and we already went over there. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Jeez, I'm, not <laughs> I'm not touching it. <laughs> Good luck. I think there's like a giant 40 pound glass doll in there. There better not be anything like human esque. I don't want any part of it. Nothing demonic either. It's obviously demonic. It's so, so here's the thing. I know what's in here, but I don't know what's in here, what's in here. What's in here, what's but in here? But we're gonna find out. I you know like a Russian nesting doll? Yeah. What is uh, that? Ha, 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 ha. What is that? Oh, that's like the biggest living box in the world. Wait! Wow, that's, oh, that's, that's pretty accurate! Dude, Elson. Dude, Elson. Uh, no. Why? There's ectoplasm on it. <laughs> what? Bro, this there, there's literally like 60 crosses on this. So that is not a different one. What is it? That is a protection box. Oh, that sounds good. Yes. But what's inside? Oh, come on. You can't. Think about Annabelle. What's Annabelle in? Glass case. Mmm. Are you kidding? Don't, 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 don't try and lift that up. Don't upset him. Try and lift it up. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Try and lift it up. Too oh, much. Lift it. Lift it. I don't. I lift don't. it. I don't want to. Lift the it. The outside. The outside's fine. Thank you for my problem. The outside's fine, right? The outside's fine. That's You're gonna touch it. He's gonna say, gotcha. except for the handles aren't fine. This box is going to be in the motorhome with us for the next three and a half weeks. Cool. I'll sleep outside of the motorhome. Sorry. Sorry. That actually is heavy. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Before you open it, before you open it, yeah. when you open it right now, can it affect any of us? Don't know. This has never been done before. Dog, I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. Where I just heard a guy's voice. Not ours. When they said what? It was a guy's voice. He went, what? It was a guy's voice that was not ours. I don't know if anybody else heard it. I thought it was Evan. I thought it was coming from back there, too. They didn't say anything. No. I didn't hear it. I heard that. I heard what? Yeah it, yeah, it was loud. Yeah. It was, I, I literally thought it was a, it was echo loud, but it wasn't our lives. Okay, so even the ghosts in this building are like, what the <laughs> Yo, the ghosts are like, yo, they're like, yo, Jimmy, get in here, look Bro, what this guy got. are all in here right it? now, like, what? <laughs> Go ahead. Can you guess the combination? 
Six, six, three numbers? Six, 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 six. Oh, that's weird. It literally won't let me go. What if this is God saying? Dude, this is God saying. not wanting you to open this box. Dude, it like it legitimately is not letting me. Thank God. Hey, oh my God, it hey, won't let me open it. Hey, hey man. Hey, thanks, man. Hey. I hear you, dog. Appreciate it. Oh, I got it. Oh, come on, God. <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah, it's not open? No. no. I'm really, it's really cool. It's really, I took a lot of work. It took a lot of work to make this Why happen. Why me? Because you're new. Okay. I do want to say that as soon as you got it, like Willie wouldn't let me open it, and then as soon as you said thank God, it was like never mind. Oh my God! No, like for the record, as soon as you guys were like thank God, it was like no, we're gonna open it. I'm 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 digging up right now. Let's go. It's gonna be the world's biggest like pop out snake. <laughs> you imagine? I'd be okay with that. Like just a bunch of Pringle cans. Yeah. 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 By the way, how many how many uh, how many locations are we doing this trip? Fourteen. Yeah, it's weird. Count how many things are in there. Stop. Oh, God. God. Wait, what was that? Wait, describe it. What was that? What is it? Are you kidding? <laughs> is that real? Everything in the box is real. Wait, wait, what is it? That's real. What is it? What is it, Aaron? <laughs> oh, bro. You know what? You know what? No, 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 that is not What real. was it? Dude? What is it? If that's real, there's a... That looks like it's... Bro, oh, you are joking. joking, dude. Let's do this. Let's investigate and see if there's any activity. Uh-huh. Then, we will open it and see if there's more. Uh, okay. Dude, why can't this just be like a normal friends go to a haunted place investigation, sit around, ask some questions, see if something happens, go home happy. I would like you to describe to me what a normal friends that go to a haunted location experience is like for you. Just because us sitting around a candle, holding hands, singing kumbaya, being like, is anybody here? Make a noise. And then that's it. It's the best We got all the tools out. Huh? Tomorrow night is Indiana State Sanatorium. That's tomorrow? That's tomorrow, and that place is massive. So let's say you don't go all the way to the end of the tunnel tonight, then tomorrow night, sanatorium, you get blindfolded, we can take you wherever we want, in the golf cart, in the Jeep, anywhere on the property, all 200 acres of it. Hold on, 200 acres? It's not just one building? Oh, no, 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 it's a big, it's a big place. Uh, but imagine, imagine you're going halfway down and you hear like, don't come down here. <laughs> you're like, fuck! <laughs> I have to go down there! Please let me go down there! Thank you for joining us tonight. Sure. You are a resident paranormal investigator here? I am. I'm also one of the tour guides here at the castle. Okay. So I'm very familiar with a lot of stuff that goes on, and then I'm part of a local team that also investigates. What is the worst, most fearful, terrifying experience you've had here? Um, and, and where was it? It was in the tunnel. Oh, okay. come on. Perfect. Come on. The, the spirit in the tunnel does know my name. He said it. That I was down here, I was down at the end of the tunnel with about four or five people. Yeah. And yeah. We were looking at the entrance, which you can see a little bit of light. And it looks like someone stepped into the entrance and they stepped back out. And they did it again. Mm -hmm. So we hollered. We said, hey, there's people down here. So we wouldn't scare anybody. We didn't get an answer. But then you could see them go down the step. What? They didn't answer, but you could hear the footsteps coming down the tunnel. Well, then we see another one. What? There are five. What? Shadows that came down into the tunnel. We thought it was just the one guy. No, there's five. There oh. were five that night. Oh, God. Did you like feel what? anything? Or you felt like they might have like a time-wise of them going through you? No, I didn't feel, I mean, I was about ready to have a panic attack because when you're at the end of the tunnel, that's dead end. You got oh, five my. shadow things coming down there. You don't really have a way to get out. Oh my God. Unless you go towards them. Are they like pretty prominent, like solid black? Yeah. Oh my God. So there's a good chance that we'll see a shadow person in the tunnel. I hope for your sake, yes. Oh, yes! <laughs> Come on! Oh, you're supposed to say Come no! On. That SLS is real fun to do around the mannequin down there. Shining up the mannequin, and a little finger popped up next to the mannequin. So we thought, oh, it's picking up on the mannequin, right? Well, then it got on all fours. Oh, okay. 
and it shimmied over to the wall and it crap walked over the wall into the rooms behind them. Oh, perfect. So I don't like to see the SLS camera down there. Dude, if I see something crawl, <laughs> I, I'm flying no. home a ton of night, bro. <laughs> oh, oh my god, dude. Oh, oh my god. Down there? Oh, he doesn't care. Oh, he doesn't care. Well, I was just going to say, if you have a bunch of lights on, he's probably not going to come out and do it. Like oh, really? He likes it in the pure dark? Yes. If you try to see him with the flashlight, he'll disappear on you. So how do we know when to switch, you and I? I'm gonna come get you. And then I have to walk all the way there by myself? Yeah. There's all the cameras. Easy for him. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna step the camera. Okay, go, bro. Middle light, and I are light. Blonde, too. The box. <laughs> Can't wait to open it. Holy shit. Oh my god. Holy oh. shit. Hi guys. Oh. How are you? Oh my god. <laughs> How are you guys? Son. I would like to borrow a tool, please. <laughs> Okay, Jesus Christ. That, that scared you, I wasn't even trying to. Yeah, yeah, it did. It I was... want to play with Loud Buzzy Boy. Okay, the new K2. But this is the worst possible device to have when you are by yourself. Which is why it's perfect to have by yourself. If I sound like I'm talking like Daffy Duck, it's because it's slowly chugging me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what I was going to ask. I was yeah. going to wait till you walked away. No, I, was... <laughs> I was like, dog, that was not helped in. Oh, Lord. So this thing starts pitching away. Is there a phone? Here. That's if it touches something. Okay. I'll be on my own. Alrighty. Try not, try not to scare us again, please. Okay. Just remember, I heard if you right can't there. prove... Yeah. Hold on, hold on. There was something over there. There's something there. scooting back there. Something just happened over there. Who else you is there? Who, who else is down there? No one. I just saw someone walking. No one shot your eyes. Came down. You heard you hear that? You tell me you heard that. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't afraid to go in the tunnel by myself, but now you guys are freaking me out, and I don't appreciate no, this. Bro, there was a crash. There was like a crash over there. That's what just happened. Remember, if you can't prove that you were in the tunnel, you never were, and you're going by yourself tomorrow. You heard the crash. Right? I think this place is a lot more haunted than we think it is. Oh my god, this is fucking awful. All right. Holy. This is essentially a higher grade K2 that can really pick up on the electric signals. Exactly like that. Mr. Boots? Whoa. All right, Mr. Boots. If you're down here, I know you are at some point or another. Just want to say that. Oh my God. Just want to say that. Oh my God. Mr. Boots, can you do that one more time? Can you knock on a pipe one more time, Mr. Boots? I'm gonna walk to the end and come back. I just heard it. And come back. I just heard it. I heard a high-pitched ding. Can you do it again? know whether or not they really were in the tunnel. Okay, so we should probably set up somewhere and get our tools out. What was that? Who, who just said that? 
Who, who just said that? Said what? Someone just whispered in my ear. They were like, right here. Was that, did you whisper something, Evan? No. As you were walking past me, I heard, right here. Bro, no way. Swear to God. And that's, <laughs> dude, you were right next to me, so that might have picked up on the mic. What was that? Who's, who just said that? What was that? I thought you whispered something. No. Dude, I had to, oh man, the chills are going back. Oh, I swear it was like, whoa, wait, one second, one second. This is nuts. What's happening? I'm just getting really bad vertigo. Everything, it kind of feels like an earthquake's happening right now. Like the floor feels like it's moving. Look at the flowers on the ground. Wait, and these were just like up on the- This up. was up. Remember we did the whole yeah. thing up here earlier. This is where USO performers would perform. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, so they're normally just like, like the other is, one. Yeah, just like the other one. That's interesting. What the hell? Don't have an explanation for that. All right, so in this one, we've got REM pod bear, the electric guns. Are we allowed to use these? Do we check? What is it? What does it do? It's going. Now, now do it. Oh, wow. That's definitely getting like the electricity going in the air. Oh, I can yeah. Feel can it. you really? I, I am not a medium. I don't pretend to be a medium, but I've been here long enough that I know when things change. You want to give it a go? Sure. Yeah, same as a gun, just pull a little trigger. I'm just gonna kind of go over here where he's kind of been. Okay. I got, I got some cat balls in here and some little red pods. Wait a minute, was that you? No, I'm right next to you. I got, I got some cat balls in here and some little red pods. Wait a minute, was that you? Did you hear, did you I do heard that? that? Do you heard it? Yeah, I heard that. There was something over here, I Wait. don't. Jess, are you in here? Could you do that again? Oh man, okay. We made it to the end. So now, this is chalk. And we're going to see if they can solve the equation. I want to set this up down by where we heard those noises. I know that area is blocked off down there, so maybe we can try focusing on investigating over here. Grab but too. if this starts going off, I, I'm, I just kind of feel like I'm going to throw up. Like I got that numb feeling in my cheeks. I'm going to use a case here as well. Okay. By the way, everyone watching, it's a reunion. This is me and Aaron's first investigation together in probably three years. When was it, 2019? Yeah. 2019. Um, <laughs> That's um, insane. Just uh, October 2019. Wow. All right, well. Hello? My name is Corey. I'm Aaron. We don't mean any harm at all. We just want to talk to you, get to know you. Maybe you know. All right. Something touched me. Where? Something touched, like, dude, like, on my lap. It was like a dunk. It's like a, mm. it's like, it's like a millimeter that something touches it and it goes off. The weird thing is we put this in a morgue last night with, mm -hmm. in, a, in a shut room, no oh, wires, no pipes, and it, yes, yeah. it would not stop going off. I mean, should we just sit and ask some questions? We certainly can. I thought I saw... Something moving in front of that coffee maker back there, but that might have just been my eyes playing tricks on me. Should we introduce ourselves? Hello there. My name is Matt. You guys know me. I'm Melissa. And we're just here to talk to you guys. Heard a lot of incredible stories about this place. And well, just saw something go by the coffee maker. See, it just I blocked out the reflection. Yeah. That's what I saw just a second ago. Who's back there? 
Petey, did you sneak in here? It's okay if you did. What the fuck was that? You didn't just touch my hoodie? What? You didn't just touch my hoodie? No. Where did, where did you feel it? Like. Up high or down? Here. Okay. That, nor that kind of stuff normally happens in the boys' dorm, but people feel like something tugs on their shirt, like a kid's trying to get mm. their attention. <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> Let's do plus, plus seven. 15 times 10 plus seven. Oh my God, that phrase. Okay, thought something grabbed my foot. It's the water basin. Ooh. That got real cold and I'm not by the window anymore. Oh. Mr. Boots. You following me out. Is this the feeling everyone talked about that as you leave, you slowly start to get pushed and nudged away faster and faster. Cause that made me want to get out of here a whole lot faster. We were hearing some noises earlier over here. I set a box on the floor. And if you touch that box, it'll light up different colors and it'll make a noise. And that's how we'll be able to talk with you. Cause it's really hard for us to see you and hear you. But with this box, we will be able to communicate with you. So if there's anyone over here and you want to talk with us, could you please touch this box right now? I'll give you 10 seconds, okay? Just either try to pick it up, try to put your energy into it. here wanted people to know that have come down here and investigated before. If there is, you can touch. You can touch the K2, you can touch the box, you can touch any of the devices that we brought into this room. Show us you're here. Do you not like that we're asking questions? That was someone yelling. Did you just hear that? Evan, did you hear that? Camera picked it up. It was, so. ah. yeah. Do you not like that we're asking questions? Could it be Elton in the tunnel? Is Elton scared? Is Elton okay? Is there someone in that corner who wants to talk to us? We're just interested in what used to happen here. What it was like to live here. I'm gonna set this in the corner because I'm just holding it. They're not gonna come to me right now. I'm just gonna bring this tool over here. It can't hurt you. I don't want to scare you. It's just a little box. And if you touch it, it'll light up. It'll make a little noise for us. I'm just gonna leave it right there for you. And if you want to communicate with us, make that light up. Dude, I don't scare the shit out of me. Go off. Are you alright? Stuff in here. Oh, and please go back down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You'll be fine. I'm like already shaking. Here you go. Put that on. Oh, you know, if I can do it, you can do it. <sighs> you know, sometimes people have 
heard a nurse walking up and down there. Just think of a nice lady down there. Just remember to keep your, your eyes open and pay attention to what's written on the walls. What? What? I'm just saying, like, you know, pay attention to your surroundings. You'll be fine. Think good thoughts. Good thoughts. Good thoughts. Think really good thoughts. Did you hear that, Evan? I wasn't paying attention. Dude, it was a woman. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we both heard that. I feel like we should set up a bear no matter what. Just cause. Yeah, and I mean, we have a bear in here, but he might like a different bear. That is remarkably hard to set off. <laughs> that is remarkably hard to set off. <laughs> I want to set up some motion lights. I'll set it up here. Set up the other one here, and then. Oh. So I had a tour last night. So that I was here by myself yesterday afternoon doing stuff, and that's when I saw the man walk in the back of the building. Nobody else was here except for me, and I had a tour last night. And I had about eight people on my tour, so I had I set up everything in the building. Well, when they left, that means I have to close everything down. It, it was so eerie in this building. I felt like things were looking at me out of doorways. It, it was like, almost like, okay, we think you need to leave. fucking panic attack in the hallway. Why? Oh my god. So I, the whole fucking time, I have my phone right here. I was like, she said it's scared of light. If I have to turn it on, I'm gonna turn it on. And bro, I'm walking, and I hit my foot on something, and like eight steps later, I, I hear it happen again, like something happened. So I went real quick, and I dropped my fucking light. I was like, okay, yep, time to get out of here. Did you make it to the end? Yeah, I know, I have to do some fucking math now. It's, uh, yeah, I got it. What do you mean? I have the answer. What? Uh, Corey will see. Oh, what do you mean the answer? Uh oh. We keep seeing shadows, we keep like hearing footsteps, and we, we heard a scream. Did you scream? No, I thought there, about it. There was like a four second scream. It was like, 
What? Yeah. And it was super faint. I don't know, part of me feels bad for pulling out my flashlight. Like part of me wants to do it again. <laughs> I just... Cause I don't want to be, cause I don't want to be fucking penalized tomorrow, and then having done that, and then still get dropped off at fucking the Wait, did you not go all the way to the No, end? I no, I did the other way, but I, I I used my flashlight. The whole thing? No, not the entire thing, but like a chunk of it. Is it pitch black in there? Dude, yes. So you need a flashlight. I was using the. You actually, the thing is, you do need some fucking light. Like this is not. Enough. I kept having to touch it to get some light. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna go check it out and see if I can psych myself up to do it again. Alright, I'll see you guys. Tap me in next, I'll do it next. I don't want to go last. Was the owner who, the lady, was here when we first got here? Mm-hmm. Our her mother lived here. They lived here? They do live here now. Living her here. her mother did pass away last year. Okay. So now it's just her. She lives here by herself. By herself. That was a weird, I only heard that. You didn't hear that. Uh, I heard something, but I don't know what it was that I heard. All I heard was, I said, she lives here by herself, and then I just heard like a... Just a super deep, just... Like, almost as if, like, she ain't by herself. She lives here by herself. By herself. We, we have caught that a lot. Um, weird breaths like that. Just, we'll hear them on our headphones. Just wow. It's the wildest thing. Footsteps, we're hearing voices, but no tools are going on. I got chills so bad right here. Oh my god. Right there? Yeah, dude. Tired, dude. Like, I got goosebumps right now. Why don't you want to talk to us? Is there too many of us down here? Bro. What? Oh my god. What? Alright, so I did it again, Evan. And with that fucking noted that I went back and did it again, did not use my phone. What's I get going to on? I, I get to the end and like I'm so I'm super on? proud of myself, right? I get down to the end, I literally almost I literally almost said, fuck yeah, did it twice. And I'm literally I'm about to say the words, Elton, I did it twice. And I hear fuck I hear somebody say something all the way back and I thought it was you. I thought it was you, like you guys come back to the tunnel to like check and see if I was using my light or anything. And I turn around and I go, if you'll see it on the camera, I go, what the fuck was that? And I just start speed walking fast. I was holding my phone like a fucking crucifix. Like, I was holding it out here being like, if I have to fucking use it, I'm gonna use it. But I did not use it. Petey, are you in here? These guys brought a lot of fun things for you to light up. All those little things down the hallway and run past. Petey, we can have a race. See, so you can light up all three the fastest. He wants to play, Petey. Did you hear that? No. It I, was a whisper. I heard that. Did you hear it? Yeah. It came from, from over here, and it, I don't know what it said, but there was a whisper over here. He wants to play, Petey. Did you hear that? Petey, was that you? to like quit everything I do in life and just commit full time to paranormal. 
If what? If all three lights went to it, like if I was oh. like, hey Petey, you want to challenge me to a race? Mm -hmm. Fastest light of all three lights, and it lights happened. Come on, try. Petey. I'm not trying to hit my head. Oh god. Oh, motion sensor light. That's good. He's just doing it to make sure you went to the end. That's all. I didn't realize I was supposed to read that thing at the end. Yeah, <laughs> but I do know that there. I mean, I can go back and read it again. Do it twice. <laughs> no, I'll, do, I'll do it a second time. <laughs> it's, e it's easier the second time. <laughs> what? Petey, I'm gonna make up a game. If you can beat me in this game, you might be the fastest person on the planet. We can call you Speedy Petey. I'm gonna show you how the game, I'll go first, okay? I'm gonna try my hardest too. We're gonna make all three lights go on. And that's how we'll figure out who's the fastest one here. Give me an on, on, on your mark, get set, go, Jonah. On your mark, get set, go. You got the game, PD? That was as fast as I can go. You can beat him on that, PD. You're quicker than that. All right, PD, you ready? Set. Go. So, it's really not that bad. It's I promise it's really not. Do you want to try and play a different game, Petey? You want to show them how you play with a little red ball on the floor? Petey needs to have a ball, so I just went, it's Avengers. He doesn't know who the Avengers are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, it's in a little boy's room, it'd be fine. He doesn't know the difference, so I... He might, he might know Captain America. Captain America was around. Yeah, you know, true. World War II, you know? He was. He, he, Captain America won World War II. Fictionally, he was around. <laughs> How do you think we... <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> read a book, dude. <laughs> read a book, dude. It was D-Day, and then it was C-Day. Captain America Day. <laughs> okay. I thought I felt someone tugging on my shirt. Well, just felt a tug on my shirt again. But. It definitely sounds like footsteps behind me. Every step I take. Oh, we want to communicate with you. Ooh, oh. My temperature isn't dropping. Okay, so you want to communicate with us. Yeah. 
Hello? Bro, I swear to God that dumb chat is a car on me. Did it not just move? I was I was looking behind it. Bro, I was looking directly at it and it was going like What well, moved on? Uh I'm not like the arms. I saw the same thing. Did you really have it? Yeah. Bro, it's moving really again, but it's just. You see that? Look at this one breathing. Yeah. Dude. Oh, okay, yeah, let's go closer to the thing that just moved. Gosh. That's really cool. That's All creepy right. as hell. I wonder if that's on purpose. Okay. As I'm walking back. Is that you? like our little uh, laser guns. Mm hmm Petey, look at these fun toys he has. Did you have pop guns when you were here? Were you allowed those? Oh yeah, it does sound like some of the real pop guns. Like yeah, those are fun. Petey, you can, you can be a superhero with these. It'll give you more energy and you can run around the room. You can play his game. Or even just push the ball around, we can play your game. Don't be, don't be scared by it, they're really cool. It's, little, it's lightning in my hand. Whoa. That's pretty cool, Pete. That's me, man, too close. Yeah. That's so cool to see that do that. Yeah, well, yeah, just from those guns, like, mm -hmm. it's such a, I've never seen such a cool, like, visual representation of how those work. Yeah, it's, it's sweet. But it shows you when, like, that there has maximum energy, what it will do. That is the coolest thing. Alright, wait, what's this? Uh, solve this 15 times 10. Okay, the rest is on the way back. What does that mean, Elton? <laughs> Why are we doing math? I'm trying to figure out what that means. I should probably sing a song. So, I should probably sing a song. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb. There's a skull. Okay. Mary had a little lamb whose place was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, I Mary went, Mary went, everywhere that Mary went, her sheep followed her, cause her sheep loved her, and the sheep loved her, and, and the sheep all right. The sheep loved her, and she loved the sheep. They were best friends forever. Best friends with the sheep. What is that? What's that light? She was friends with the sheep, and the sheep loved her. And I'm walking away. And da 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 And the sheep was her friend and she loved the sheep Mary had a lamb and it turned into a sheep <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck <sighs> It's crazy, not a single cat ball yeah. Not the bear, not the motion sensor light All I have left and try that, and if not, then P, P will have to say goodnight.
Oh, it's heavy. What does the bear do? It's just like that one. Well, that one talks. Wait, You're... oh, this bear is also a ghost. Oh, it's a ghost up there. Yeah. I didn't know if you would want it on since you had well, it on. Let's see. Yep. I've never seen this one. He'll randomly say things like, what's two plus two? Will you tell me a story? The bear does? Yeah. He just randomly has like a little vocabulary and he'll just spit stuff out. That's cool. Let's play with the bear. I never played with the bear. I say that. Oh God. <laughs> Guys are gonna love that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that again. Hi, I'm Boo Bear. What's your name? My name's Elton. Nice to meet you, Boo Bear. <laughs> oh, that, was, that was terrible. <laughs> Did you solve it? 150? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. You it, said, it. it said the rest is on the way back. The best. The best. Okay. I was walking, looking at all the walls, <laughs> and I'm like, where the fuck is this other question? Dude, I wonder if there is. I, actually, two things happened that I didn't even mention to either of these cameras, because I was too scared, mm -hmm. and I wanted to wait till I was gone. As Soon as I start walking back, I hear this. <sighs> right? I'm like, okay, let me start singing. So I'm singing, I'm leaving the tunnel, and then a light flashed at the end of the tunnel, like where Elton wrote the question. Yeah, it was just like a little like ding, and then it went away. Wow. And I was like, I never saw a light flash down there. That's the REM pod in the ghost cave. Are you kidding me? We're not twice. Why? Nothing has, this entire time, nothing went off. The report that I think that close. One, two, three, four. Hey, Petey, or any of the uh, any of the other kids here? Did you make it warm in here? <laughs> it's just creepy. <laughs> <laughs> there, if anyone in the room wants to hang out, play a game, happy to do so. Who pressed that box? Who made it light up? Can you do it again, please? There's no reason that should have went off. There's, Three times. There's nothing there. Okay. If you can make the box go off three times, can you make it go off a fourth? You guys go there, I'll stay. Stopped. Are you playing a game with us? Here, Aaron. Come in here with us real quick. I want to see if it's playing with us. Once everyone leaves, then it makes it go off. Inside the letter oh. I, in the box. Oh man! Hide it inside the box and don't even tell anyone. And all they're gonna hear is, "Can you count with me? One, two, three, four." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, Petey, are we? Are we gonna come out tonight? Someone's here. Alright. Alright. Do you think Matt is still in the tunnel? Oh, sure not. Who's in the no. tunnel now? God, no. Corey? Do you think they're all done in the tunnel? I think they probably all just did it for like 90 seconds. You can't, you can't do the equation that fast. Well, if they didn't know that it was on there, they probably just went down and touched the wall and came out. No, you, you definitely will see that it says. Like when you get to the end of the wall, like if you don't see that, it means you literally went <laughs> and ran out. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they probably did. Were you a part of the military? Make one of our machines go off for yes. Are you an American?
Well, as you jam it. <laughs> what was that? You heard that. Yeah. Well, as you jam it. <laughs> what was that? All right, well, I'm gonna take this box now. I hope you had a little bit of fun with it. If you want to say goodbye, you can touch it one more time and make it go off. Okay. All right. Goodbye. What are you just saying? What are you just saying? What was that? What? What the fuck was that? You guys didn't just hear that in there? I thought it was you picking up the box. No, no, no. Something moving in there. I thought it was you picking up the box. No. No. Hello? As I picked up the box, there was movement in there. Okay, goodbye then. Be the same. I think we chose the worst tools for each area. <laughs> really, why? Nothing? Like everything we needed, we didn't well, have down there. It wasn't that it was nothing. The tools would only go off once we left the room where the tools were in. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I go, I feel bad that I used my light, so I went and did it again. Okay. What number? 150. Hmm? 150. I was right. Huh? I was right. It's the rest is on the way back. He said the best is on the way back. Does it say the rest is on the way back? The rest. I knew it. I knew it. How did you, how would you even get to 150? Because it's, it's 10 times 15. Uh huh. That's what you put on the wall. That's 150. Yeah, what about all the other numbers? What other numbers? What there was only 10 times 15. What do you mean the other numbers? That's all there was on there. See, and this is how I knew. I said, read the writing on the walls, check every square inch, enjoy. Yeah, but you said down. it in like a magician like way. You didn't way. tell <laughs> me. <laughs> no, I did. You told him. Yeah, but I did say. You had to prove that you spent enough time down there. Well, I spent double did the amount of time. None of you spent, none of you saw it? Are no, you where else was it? I'll go do it now. The rest was on the way back. There was more. How are we supposed to even see it with barely any light? How did you see what was on the end of the wall? Is the answer 150? No! That was only the the rest of the equation was on the way back. The doorway either. Yeah. I need to understand how my bar looks like a B. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thud and then a footstep immediately. It was like doom. Whoa. Let me go put this in the prison. Should I put a cat ball on Dwayne's dad? Put it inside the room. The heat vision goggles. There we go. Oh, there cool, we go. we're good. I see it. You see it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Maybe, uh. What's up? I thought it was on my face right there. Yeah. Right there, it's right by the door. Start watching it, it stops. Oh, oh, I got a chill. No, I know. As soon as I walked up right here, I got major chills. Like it's freezing now. Let's walk away. Okay. If it goes off again. No way. There. Nope. There. Oh. Whoa. They're getting it to people to talk. I'm gonna go check it out. Whoa. <laughs> Bro, what? We got two pods at once going off. No, what in that in the cave? One right there, one right there. They both went off at the same time? Yeah. And they both stopped almost the exact same time. What? 
Okay. Okay, can you touch that one now? It's in between the doorway. It doesn't want to be watched. So I feel, I feel yeah. like something's following us right now. I feel something over here. Behind us? It's following I feel like there's something over my right shoulder. It's like there. I heard that there's a little boy that plays over here. I set up a flashlight if you want to play the flashlight game. Are you turning it off? Okay. Careful, there's a trash can there. The flashlight just turned off. <laughs> what? Where is it? No, it's this. Aaron, it's this. What? It's being touched. But also, the flashlight turned off. Right as I set it off. You want to play a game with us, it's called the flashlight game. You already turned the flashlight off. Can you turn it back on? Oh yeah, they always have something at the bottom of the stairs or by these stairs. Anyone in this jail cell? Yeah, nothing. I feel like we're uh, making that rookie mistake again. Which one? The one where, think about how we started whaling. We all went to not, a table. Not introducing ourselves? Yeah. I did it upstairs. Yeah. But we, we as a collective, there are a lot of people with a lot of gadgets. Doing a lot of things. That's concrete. I feel like we should get everyone together and actually like sit in the center and... I'm down. You want to do the right thing? Should we start in there? Let's go, get, yeah, let's, let's go, go down there and get everyone. I'll give you a couple seconds to try, okay? Or you lose the game. Looks like you got a point. All right, here, I'm gonna move the flashlight, all right? We're gonna go to round two. If you turn it off, I'll give you another point and you'll have two points. Oh, that's two points. Okay. All right, so we're playing a game, all right. All right, so I have zero points. Aaron, you have zero points. Got it, all right. And you have two points. Okay, now let's make this a little more challenging. If you can turn the flashlight on and then off, we'll give you three more points. So five points? So you'll have five points. Okay, but you only have 10 seconds to do it, okay? You gotta do it as fast as you can. So if you want five points, you gotta turn the flashlight on and then right back off. We're gonna count to 10, ready? All right, here we go. One, two, two three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Okay, we'll give you time to turn it off now. Oh, oh, you want five points? Turn it back off. You almost got it. You're so close. All right, so you turned it on. All I gotta do is turn. Okay, I guess ten seconds on, ten seconds for off. Okay, okay so now we'll give you ten seconds to turn it off. Okay. One. Let, all right, dog right here. Dude, bro. That's, oh, oh my god. That's five points. That's five points. You did so good. Oh my god. Good job. Maybe we'll play again sometime. Okay. What was the game? Flashlight on, flashlight off. Mm. That's a sick game. Pretty good, that game. Are you? Defending World Champ. Dude, this kid just and won. And Defending Under World Champ. We keep coming to locations and just like throwing gear out and, and we don't ever like just start by going, hey. Hi, we're here. Hello. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. We're going to land in Spain. Let's not open the box. Let's see. <laughs> Maybe we can still build box. If there's any difference in activity, you still don't have to do it, is the thing. But what's inside of it is if less. <sighs> Answer me, not just with your eyes, Elton. <laughs>
Isn't that an answer? Didn't my eyes give you all of the answers that you needed? Just not the answer. All four of my eyes give you the answers that you needed. Shut up. The, the, the demons learn to get a joke about this. So, <laughs> like so alright, do we want to set up anything and see if this thing... What are you about to do? Set up a Wait, that was you. you? So, alright, do we want to set up anything and see if this thing... What are you about to do? So just talking about the box does that? Whoa, what? Something just touched the back of my neck. Are you serious? Yeah. I don't think it just got weird. Yeah, it just got really weird. weird. Should we... Why? No! Why? Okay. No! But you tapped it. Just go really close to it. No tapping. What? Dog! Oh, There's nothing electric in there? Bro, it's only at like the seam. Like it's trying to escape. That's not supposed to happen. Ugh. Dog. What's in there, dude? Dog. I didn't do test this until now. So this is really cool. Dude, come on. Look, cross? No cross. No cross. What is in there? What is in there? Oh, what's in there? Oh, yeah, honest, there's, there's things all over in there, so now it makes me wonder what's on there. What's not in the front? I know it's on that side. Hold on. No, there's no way. DMF, there's no way. Oh! Remember, it's in the box. That means this energy is coming through. See, me yeah. Oh my god. Oh, come on, man. Oh, that one all like red. Look, dude. Look at that. Jesus Christ. Look back here. On the left side. What was that? Yo, it's getting weird right now, bro. Ugh. Okay, are we... I just want to say anything about this thing, but we're only going to open this thing once. Dog. Oh, you're going to... Oh, Aaron's going to open it. Okay. You're going to open it? I did it before. Okay, run it. Run it, run it, run it, run it. Run it. So we can run it. Okay, all right, all right. Let's do this, let's do this. I want to I wanna get this over with. I don't like this, though. I don't like the... This is coming with us. Dude, Dude is it that stopped. Get the fuck out As you here. open it, it stopped. <sighs> we didn't have a single device out there. Whoa! What oh. is that, bro? What is that smell? What is that? What is that smell, dude? That's what I was saying. Is that real? Is that real? Dude, that looks... Yeah, that smells... Oh my god, it's coming over here. Dude, why did the EMF just stop going off? Pause and go. Rem find the wiggle off. Is that a knife? And salt? Yes. Why? For what? For... What the fuck was that? Staircase. Her staircase. No, I heard that. By looking at this skull, are we gonna get fucked? Yes, I would. That's some salt for it. What do you mean? Go in here. I have one Gibby box for every single night on this trip. Dude, that's of salt. 
I mean, literally, you can't just force demonology on us like that. That's spiritual assault. Every <laughs> single dog in there is sealed. With each one, there is a note about where every single one came from. I don't want to open any of them. Okay, so the skull. What's the story with the skull? Is there a story or is it just there? Someone was like, if you buy two Dibby boxes from me, I'll throw in the skull. That's got a deal on a skull. I did, actually. Yeah. Is it a real skull? Yeah. It's a real human skull. It was free. The Dibby boxes were expensive and they're... That's a real human... How did he have a real human skull? On oh. the black market? No, I don't know. It came from South Africa. Oh my god. So here's the plan. I'm gonna do this. You guys can join if you want. Yeah, no. You know, you guys, if you guys wanna, you know, if you guys wanna join me in the back after the investigation, I'll be back there, cutting open a divvy box and seeing what happens. <sighs> night after night after night after night. I will have no problem. Thirteen nights in a row. What's wrong? Mm. Right. Wrong. Well, and here's the fun part. That's what this is for. You don't don't open these, dude. Where are you gonna open it? Oh, I can't open them at any of the locations that are already on building. Well, they don't want it. Like, what if it goes wrong and then it's in their building? They don't so where are, you, where are you opening it? Your RV. No, you're not opening it in the RV. We're going to open it outside, near the RV. No. no. Yeah, so <laughs> we're going to open it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you heard it here, folks, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to open. Corey Shear has so. volunteered for the role of Divic Box Opener. Wow. No. no. I kind of want to. What? I, I want to see what it looks like. There's a lot of like, it's not open. It can't no. do anything until it's open. Dude, no. Don't, don't do this. Should we open them? No! Oh, can, I, can, can I see what the one that you're going to open looks like? We can't, wait, we're not allowed to open it here, are we? Or are we just doing it no, but we can like unwrap it. Oh, like they're yeah. wrapped. Let's, have, let's unwrap one. Looking at it, it's not. I, I like this optimism. I like this this new. It's just this new enthusiasm that is emerging from all of this. We do it. It's already. This is a democracy. I I, I already have a pillow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. I don't know what's in there. It's bird bones. That's what's in there. Why are you holding it? <laughs> What's wrong with you? This is fun. Lord. Hey. Touch pieces. There's a... What does the paper say? Um, For, um... Here. Do you like to hold the box? Let me see this. Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> Did touch it me. touch me? <laughs> Did it touch me? Dude, I think it touched my cross. Okay, so Jesus was protected. So Jesus said... <laughs> yeah, the exact noise. There's a whole note. There's a whole note. There's a whole note. Okay, who wrote the note? Okay, who wrote the note? I have no idea. Should I read it out loud? Sure. I'm gonna show you something. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I hate when he does this stuff. I'm here to ghost hunt. I don't want demons anywhere near me. At all. Why? I wasn't able to sleep. I wasn't able to eat. I couldn't focus. Half the time I didn't even know where I was. I felt as though I was slowly losing myself, as if I was being pushed to the back of my own mind. No matter where I went or what I did or who I saw for help, I couldn't escape. I was being tortured. I was being tormented. I'm kind of scared for the rest of this trip now. Yeah, I don't like this. I. I don't want to sleep on the RV, that's for damn sure. Yeah, no, I'm like, like, I'm like, I'm like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. Like, my, my, my main thing is, can salt really protect us from a Dybbuk box? I don't know, man. I don't know. All I know is last time we did this, both of our cars got broken into. Uh-huh. Yeah. I had to seek help. I didn't want to. I thought I could fight this off. I had to. My girlfriend made me. She said I tried to kill her. I don't remember this. I was just hungry all the time, tired all the time. I don't remember much of the last few months at all. I had to get help. She chose where I went and I didn't ask questions. Went to a church at first. They sent me to another church. Finally, someone came to our house. 
The last thing I remember is the smell of something burning. Okay. Dude, okay. I'm saying so many prayers before bed. Yeah. I'm saying so many. How, how do you feel about this, Evan? I kind of want to open one. I hate you. What? Yeah. Why would you want to open one? It's like Christmas morning. What? Is there a chance we can get dropped off at a McDonald's? Yeah. And then you guys just drive out to random, like, field? How about we Uber and meet you wherever? Yeah, I'm down, I'm down for that. Can I split it? Yeah. Okay. I'll, yeah. I woke up. I was handed this box. I was told I'm safe now. They said I could do whatever I wanted with this box. I told them jokingly to sell it. I think that was the first time I told a joke in months, maybe years. I don't remember. My girlfriend sold the box for me. She said that the person who bought it wanted to know more about why it existed. I wish I knew more. I really do. I don't know why you want this, but thanks to you for buying it. I finally feel like eating again, so I'm going to get a stack of cheeseburgers with the money. No way. No way, dude. I'm trying to read. No way. But I'm dude. pretty sure, I mean, the box is from Nicaragua. Jesus. Right there. I think it says Nicaragua. I can't read that at all. Handmade something, some city, Nicaragua. If this story is true, that is, that is the craziest shit I have ever read or seen for a fucking Dybbuk box. Jesus Christ. And that's just the first one. I don't like this. You know what I that? Yeah, and you had to read it last night? I don't have it fully memorized, but God knows my intention's clear. Mm. He knows I'm trying. You guys wanna read it? No! I don't wanna touch anything to do with it. What did it say? Yes. Like, long story short. Um, that this dude was possessed, and he didn't know how long he was possessed for, and that possession got moved to that box. And now he can finally eat again because he sold the box and it's time. Still going. It is. It's like an organ being played. Like a pipe organ. Why did that all of a sudden just start? I think the spirits here are trying to tell us not to open this one. There you go. It's yours. I believe. Yeah, we should probably lock that too. Might be good. How about this? We might compromise. Too late. Long night. Lot to take in. Open two tomorrow. No. None of all time. None of all of the time. Open all of the other trip. It stopped. Dude. It stopped. It stopped. You locked it and it stopped. Like the building with prey. Yo. I think it was. Oh, bro, all oh, my hairs are standing on in. Right there was a church above us. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I like this. No, it's okay. It's really not okay. It's more of like, it's a, it's a for me thing. Yeah. Okay, so do it at your house. Wait, is this LA? because? It's in my house. No. Is this because you're possessed from the Queen Mary and that demon is so trying to do this? Is it? <laughs> 13. All right, let's head out. Okay. Come on. Come on, kids. Let's go. Why I would say that. What, what did you just say?
Hey, what did you just try? What deal did you just try to make with Matt? I told Matt if he opens a Dybbuk box, I'll open a Dybbuk box. And you literally just, okay. Oh yeah, are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> are you crazy? No! It's gotten into you, man. Aaron, come here. Oh, God. I don't know. I'm kind of wanting. Let Aaron live, man. What's happening? Nothing, Aaron. Go to bed. If you open one, I'll open one right after you. Aaron, don't. Tonight. Aaron. 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 Do I get to choose which one I open? No! I don't get to choose which You don't get to open one. Alright, you guys gave me no choice. I'm <laughs> fighting whoever opens a fucking dipping box. <laughs> I Bro, swear to God. I honestly, the fact of Corey being able to even open one, I, okay. Wait, 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 wait I don't know if I want to anymore! Wait, I, I don't know if I want to anymore! He's got a cross and an I heart Jesus hat, and he's like, who wants to open a fucking devil with me? <laughs> Should we? No! Yo, I don't want to have to fight both of but you. But if we're in the salt, it yeah. can't get us. No, 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 you're not understanding. It can get you in the salt. You're holding the box to open it. The salt goes around you so that it can't go to other people except for the person opening the box. Don't you listen. Well, what happens when you step out of the salt? Cut the cameras. Yeah. I've changed my mind. It can, it can, it can, it's attached to, you, to yourself at that point. You're, what yeah. just almost convinced me to want to open it? No, I take it back now. <laughs> I you. take it back now. And now I don't have to fight my friends. <laughs> Okay, if me and Aaron both open one, you have to open No! <laughs> I will fight both of you before you both open a different box. Oh my god. Hey, hey Matt, what does that beanie you're wearing say? It says I quit. <laughs> <laughs> in, in Latin, it says I quit. It says find your fears, and I got 13 of them right here. Found them, awesome. Mission succeeded. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, yeah, I don't want to do it no more. I changed my mind. Sorry, guys. Never mind. God. Why was I just thinking if this video gets 666,000 likes, oh. Corey will open a dipping box. 600,000. 666,666. Exactly.